even more difficult task for the Obama administration is how to handle North Korea. Our Zane Verger reports on the communist nation's latest threats as the U.S. and South Korea play war games. These war games are triggering real war threats. North Korea is accusing the U.S. and South Korea of planning to invade. The um, U.S. ROK uh, exercises are not a threat to the North. The official North Korean news agency calls the South puppets in a frenzy and says North Korea's one million man army is on alert. The military hotline to Seoul cut in protest. The border, first shut, now open. The U.S. top diplomat has said North Korea is looking for an advantage. It uses, you know, provocative words and, and threatened actions to try to get attention in order to, you know, make a deal in some way. You know, food and fuel and uh, other kinds of uh, uh, assets. Some analysts say Kim Jong-il is angry the South Korean leader is not courting him, as others have in the past. So the North has ripped up non-aggression pacts and refused to guarantee the safety of South Korean airliners in the North's airspace. Fueling the fire, North Korea's preparations for what it calls a satellite launch. The U.S. says that's a disguise for a test on a long-range missile that might have the ability to hit Alaska and the U.S. west coast. North Korea warns any attempt to shoot it down will be an act of war. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Michael Mullen, says there's been no decision on what the U.S. would do if North Korea launches. Zane Vergy, CNN, Washington.